I'm an astronomer following the sky winds. I've published a few papers also, so I can say sometimes I'm right in the way that I see things. I've never seen so much interest in the sky phenomenon. People are following everything about the sky. They're asking questions. Why so many comments are coming toward us? Um, one answer can be that because we have internet. So we know about everything. As soon as it happens, it's there. In the past, you have to wait for the Vassal Bogot Soleil Grub Center just to announce it. Then next year, if Month Magazine comes to you, so you receive it, you read it, and the post will be delayed. You will not know about something. Or the TV is just too, 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 you know, too slow to react to anything. Nowadays, we have everything just you know, instantly. Uh, you take a video of the Comet Atlas, and everybody can see, see it in real time even sometimes. Thanks to the magic of internet. So, is there anything mysterious? Mystery is always there. It's the mystery of the you know human existence on this planet. The mystery of the you know the orbits of the stars, the gravity, gravitational waves. All these things exist, and. It's nice that people are curious. It's nice they want to understand. Of course, the coronavirus have given a lot of time to people to think. We didn't have much leisure in the past. All the people were just busy with the normal life. They couldn't think. Now they can. And now you can watch. You can watch the night sky with your family. And I invite you to watch the planet Venus, which is that brightest star. Uh, it doesn't twinkle as other stars. The twinkling you see sometimes is because it's passing, and my hand moves, and the branches of the tree cover that that planet. Uh, it's nice to look. I'm looking in the direction of the west, of course. You can see the planet Venus. And a little bit lower than that, you can see the plates. Uh, the Orion constellation is set in there. And the Comet Atlas, when it is visible, of course, is now magnitude 8, so you need a telescope to see that. It's somewhere up there. So don't lose the chance to observe. Get interested. So many things are happening in the sky. So many comets are coming. Is it interesting? Yeah, it is exciting. Everybody is searching to see what's going on. That's good. I welcome that. Some people are just dry, they don't want to talk about anything, they don't want to, you know, excite the people about things, they, they just go with their own arrogance and they think they're right all the time. Just, just let the public imagination get fired up, just let them be interested in this, it will change, it will change the life for better, when everybody knows more. You can educate each other, you can learn from each other, if you know more, let the others know. Don't be dry, don't be dry. It's nice to be excited.
Okay, I changed the resolution to 4K. Hopefully, you will not see much pixelation. You will see anyway, but uh, not as bad as it was. What you see is now passing the center of the picture, hopefully, is what is called as Aristarchus Plateau. And the light is not very good and also the clouds are closing a little bit. And you can see the color of it is different. So one of the olivine rich area, olivine is a metal that, uh, the mineral that exists in the mantle area of the planets crust mantle core if you remember these are the layers of the planets planetary bodies uh, which are made of rock or any other matters it has this kind of layering any object differentiated object gravitational So it's now passing the center, top top of the center, above the center. And the brightest spot is the Aristarchus crater itself. And to the lower part of the image you can see the Reiner gamma. Oh, suddenly it became so clear. Try to Bring it to the center. Yeah, it's now right dead center. I'm doing all this with my mobile camera, but uh, I use a bracket. It's one of these ones that I bought DigiCam attachment adapter. I bought it from China. Really, I'm happy with the result. looking through the eyepiece directly. I just enjoy the view. Um, yeah, good as a map. All these lunar features are created by impact. Circular features are called crater. Well, the craters to me are superficial because what you see is the geological feature like mountains, faults, even faults. I've seen some faults, can you believe it? And some uh, trust faults and faults. You have to look for them. And as my skill in digiscoping increases, I will try to show you more of these features. Aristarchus again is at 2 o'clock, and uh, at 2 o'clock or half past 3, you can see the tiny dot of the Rhino Gamma, that mag uh, magnetic anomaly. The superficial feature, they say that is because the soil of the moon, the lunar soil in that part, due to the magnetic field, can, could not be weathered, uh, blackened, darkened by the um, solar wind and that's the reason the, they have remained bright they deflect the charged particles you know that charged particles deflect in the magnetic field so if there is a magnetic field there all the week it is working 
some of the interesting anomalies. So you can imagine if you're a science writer, science fiction writer, you can write about that. <laughs> it's a city or something to trying to protect itself from the damaging and carcinogenous effects of the sun and uh, yeah, magnetic storms from the sun. Yeah, that's actually a very good story, you know. <laughs> if you're writing, write it. You can write, just give credit to me. Hard for credit. Beautiful, magnificent uh, Caucasus Mountains. Um, the moon is a spherical, clearly you can see, when I focus on the edge of the picture, the side of it is automatic.